I'm Sundance E. Giovanni along with Chris Puckett, and we're going to bring you another Stride Championship Series matchup. So far, the action has been stellar, and let's jump right into the match. Today's match is a battle between veterans of the circuit and upcoming pros. In red, we have Team Classic featuring Team Captain Legend, Soldier 187, Fear, and Ant. And then in blue, we're going to have Team Carbon, led by Team Captain Shockwave, with Karma, Gosayami, and of course, Gandhi. We talked to the players before the match. Let's see what they had to say. They're probably going to use the same kind of strategies. We will uh, probably play really aggressive and just charge us. And, I mean, we're going to do the same thing. So I've never even seen them play or even heard of them, so this is kind of new to me. I have no clue what to expect. <laughs> Our teams today are going to be facing off in Team Slayer on the pit. Look for teams to control the overshield, rockets in the green tunnel, and of course the sniper rifles. We can see Gandhi putting that to use for sure. The game begins right after the break. Or to speak to someone directly, say agent. Agent. Got it. The ridiculously long-lasting gum. New Stride Sweet Berry. Well, here we go. We're kicking this one off with Team Captain of Carbon. It's Shockwave. He's pushing in on the rocket room. He's got fear in front of him. Legend goes down as well, so a big double kill to start this game. And now Carbon is going to have the rockets. Shockwave getting a high angle here, taking a look at the overshield player. That was a huge play. He dropped all of the overshield from Soldier, and his teammates were able to clean it up. And now Carbon is going to have the 4-2 to two lead. Not only do they have the lead, but they're also set up well. Shockwave grabbing those rockets is going to allow him to patrol the middle of the map while Gandhi sits back with the sniper rifle, and they're just going to wait for Classic to come to them. Well, right now, Shockwave is just patrolling with those rockets, making sure no one's coming through Long Haul or the Green Box. But he just saw a player in the sword room, so taking a few shots, he's going to be forced to back down. He saw a player in front of him, dropped his shields with the splash damage from the rocket, now moving in with the BR to clean it up. It's 8-4 to four Carbon off to a great start just under a minute. Yeah, you know, the great thing about Carbon is that they're set up, and we're not used to seeing this from them. You know, in Halo 2, they were a run-and-gun team, but right now they seem to be about patience and the setup, whereas Classic is really playing the role of the aggressor. Well, Shockwave cleans up another kill on Legend, but he is going to be taken down by Ant, and Ant is looking to change the pace of this game, trying to get behind the Carbon setup. You see him now putting a few shots on Karma. He's able to clean up the kill, so it's 11 to 8, putting shots on Shockwave, double teaming him with Legend. That is just great execution of a perfect sneaky strategy there by Ant. Absolutely. Ant's got a tremendous amount of skill with the BR. He's also a smart player in terms of when to engage and when to lay back. He knows how to do that, but the communication that he displays is the thing that I think is the strongest part of his game. That's definitely correct. He is an awesome communicator. All four of these guys are, and that is why Team Classic is so good with their team shot. Right now, Amp taking a few shots from Top Sniper, now trying to relocate, going into the sword room. He knows there's a sniper down. Soldier called it out. So now he's got the sniper, looking green box, seeing if anyone is out there, doesn't see anyone, and he sees the grenades coming in, knowing there's a charge coming, just barely missed Gandhi with that no-scope, but right now his team is down by five kills, and the overshield is coming up, Ant making a push for it. Karma was down there, he took out Karma, but check this out, Karma shot him once, that spoiled his overshield, meaning it is not going to recharge, he only had three seconds of invincibility, that was a huge play from Karma. Absolutely, Karma being a vet right there, knowing that if he lays that damage in, the overshield won't fully charge, he's going to be vulnerable, it's almost as if he didn't even get the OS. Check this out, he charges right back out after the reload, picking up the kill on Soldier, and the double kill on Fear, great charge from Carbon. Looking to help out Ghost Yami. Legend was distracted, and Ghost Yami beat him down. Now it's the long-range BR battle against Fear, and a smart play by Karma there to dip out after a second player charged him from the green box. This is the Karma I know and love. The guy who can engage two people at a time really it becomes the focus of the team he's up against, allows his teams to finish kills, and just plays the role of the disruptor out there on the map, running around like a madman. Well, three-minute mark has passed, and now the new rocket should be coming up soon. Karma looking to help out his teammate in the green box after picking up a kill on Soldier. Shockwave got the rockets, but he was taken down by a grenade, so Karma moves in there, scoops him up, and this is the second rocket for Carbon, and right now they have an eight-kill lead. This is huge. This is huge because they're also halfway there. They're right around that 25-kill mark, so if he can get a bunch of kills with these rockets, string them together and build on the lead, it can put the Classic in a position where they just don't have enough time to get back into the game. Well, we've seen Classic constantly charging the Carbon setup. They just seem to be doing it all at the wrong time, trying to go one at a time. Right now we have Carbon playing really aggressive right now, charging the Classic base for a second time. 
but he doesn't see anyone there. All of Classic is charging his base. Karma trying to come up behind his opponent. There's Legend. There's the easy rocket kill, and it is 28 to 22 as they extend their lead to six. You know, but Classic doing a good job here, not letting them pull away too far. They're still in this game. It's not over. They just need to stay to their strategy and trust their skill. Well, Classic has done a great job of shutting down Gandhi, who has had the sniper rifle. Karma finally being taken down. We're jumping back on board with Ant from Team Classic as he is moving in on the fresh overshield. So far, we've seen all three overshields controlled here by Classic as Carbon seems to be a little too worried about controlling the needler side of the map and controlling those rockets and sniper rifles. And Ant's the guy who can do a lot of damage with that OS. We've said he likes to engage. Now let's see what he does. Oh, he's pushing in. Gandhi has the sniper over here on the needle side of the map. Ant charges two players, putting shots on both. Finally finishes the kill on Karma as Soldier cleans up the kill on Gandhi. Great push here from Classic. He's not done yet, though, as he takes out Ghost Yami as well. It's 32-30, to 30, just a two-kill lead now for Carbon. And Ant is looking to change that, putting a shot on Shockwave, dropping his shield. Unable to finish it, and now check this out with half shields. Karma charged him in a long-range BR battle, and takes him out. That was an amazingly steady BR under all that fire. That's a ton of skill right there. That's impressive for a player who's not really a big name on the circuit yet. But you know what? With performances like that, he will be before you know it. I love his confidence in his first event. He's charging the training side of the map, but he's taken down from Swordbridge. Ant leading all players with 12 kills. Carbon still with a two-kill lead. Classic just can't seem to break that number. Trying to charge green box, doesn't see anyone. He knows there's action on needle side of the map. That's where fear just died. So Ant trying to push through that needle side hallway, taking lots of damage from Karma and forced back by grenades. But check this out, he pushes right back in. And there's Karma, he catches him with a headshot as Karma snipes him once in the body. Just great precision from that battle rifle once again from Ant. He is playing so impressively right now. And with the rest of his team distracting over on training, he is going to try and make a push through long haul. He comes up behind Gosiami. That's an easy four shot for him. It's 38 to 37. Classic looking to regain the lead, but no, he is taken down. We're jumping on board with Soldier187, his teammate, who also has no shield. So Soldier... Jumping into green box, he knows the new rocket is coming up real soon. It's 40 to 40, just 10 kills to go for either team. This one could go either way, and it's looking good for Classic. But no, Ghost Yami took down Soldier, a huge play. They traded kills, but now Carbon is going to be set up, and Gani's going to be able to get those rockets. Big play by Ghost. He may have traded a kill, but more importantly, he got the rockets out of the hands of Team Classic. Yeah, if those rockets got behind the carbon setup, that would be game over. But right now, Gandhi's got him, and he's trying to chase down Ant, who had yet another overshield. Gandhi is going to take all kinds of fire as Soldier chases him down, and now, once again, Soldier has his rockets back. He's at the carbon base, looking to do some damage. There's all four players from carbon in front of him. He misses the rocket, putting shots on two more players, and Karma is going to scoop in for a double kill on Classic. So it's 47 to 47. This game could go either way. And now we got Legend. This guy has been clutch in the past. We've seen it. He's the team captain for Classic. He knows the game inside and out. This is his time to shine. Well, right now he's got Gandhi on the other side of that green box, putting a few shots on him, trying to pick up the kill gr with the grenade. Now looking over in the courtyard, he's got Shockwave at long distance. Shockwave pushing him back, and a smart move from Legend to run away and check it out. He did it just as a player chased him over on training. He's going to hide in here as it's 48 to 48. Now charging the Carbon side of the map, and now he's got the final kill, 49-49. He takes down Karma for the double kill, and once again, Legend pips. Clutches it for Team Classic as they win 50 to 49 over Carbon. Unbelievable play right there. Let's take a look at the stats. You got Ant on top for Classic at 15 and 11, and the Team Captain Legend right behind with 15 and 12. On the other side, Karma, great game of 15 and 14, being a great distractor. Ghost, 14 and 13, and impressively, Classic able to shut down the sniper. Gandhi going 9 and 12. Right after the break, we'll be back with the Dr. Pepper More to It moment. Today we'll uh, explore multiple personalities, also known as... Yeah, boy! You know I'm flavor, flavorlicious! Explore my flavor before you miss it! Tu sabes que soy flavor, me dicen flavor... You can discover something new in every sip. You know I'm flavor, flavorlicious! Explore my flavor before When you, you explore the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. Delicious! Ah! And now for the Dr. Pepper more to it moment. At 49 to 48, Legend charged through the green box, taking out Gandhi and taking down Karma for the double kill, sealing the victory. 
50 to 49. All right, Halo fans, well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Stride Championship Series. Be sure to join us next week for more great Halo 3 action, only available at MLGPro.com. <laughs>